Ugh, this project is so time-consuming. Yeah. I wonder what Sarah's doing. Guys, oh my god, look at this game I found. We should totally play it. You had to wonder. <laughs> What's the game about? I don't know, but it looks really cool. Let's play. Sarah, we have the math project to do. Yeah, and it's due Monday. Yeah, we should finish this project. I think we have to present too. But guys, come on. So a uh, K-pop buddy? Um, no, not today. I am your K-pop buddy, but I am not trying to fail. Wah! But I'm gonna play anyways. Uh, how do you turn on the TV? You find the remote, point it at the TV, and press the giant red button that says on. Right, I knew that. The Legend of California, press start. Huh, thought I lost that. I'm gonna press start now. Okay. Wasn't that the dangerous one? Dang it. Wait! Not again. What happened? We're stuck inside this game? Again? Wait, we're inside a game? <laughs> yeah. Uh, did I break something? And this is what happens when we don't watch it with Sarah. Who is supposed to watch her anyways? Hey, I can watch myself. Well, we're kind of in a game right now. Not really helping your side. Guys, we should stop arguing. So it's obvious we're stuck inside a game, but how do we get out? Mwahahaha. <laughs> Greetings, mortals. You have been punished by the gods above for procrastinating on your math assignment. Your consequence is- Wait, this voice seems different. Yeah, and so is the scenery. Silence! How dare you interrupt me? Dude, chill. Be so humbly apologize for your inconvenience. Better? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Ahem. As I was saying earlier, you mortals will be punished for your procrastination. Your consequence? Complete all three levels of the game in order to see your beloved world again. Fail, and you shall remain in this realm forever. Ever. Ever. Dun dun dun. Guys, I apologize for not having us play this game sooner. This is awesome. We should sacrifice her to the gods and hope they let the rest of us go. Hey, I heard that. Come on, Zoad, back me up here. Honestly, I just want this game to be over. I don't want to be here forever. It's really creepy. Yeah, like seriously, look at this background. Talk about the pressing. Hashtag Bloomville. Mortals, you talk too much. Hey, Mr. Mysterious Voice Person thingy. We have names, you know. And I know we talk a lot. We're teenage girls. What do you expect? As of now, your name tags are blank. Enter your names or forever be known as mortal. See the changes in there? <laughs> oh, I'll be a tape on Benny. Mortal, why is your name so long? Seriously, if you're going to pick a name, at least make it a good one. Ugh, seriously. Some people just don't get the art of username. Mortal 1 has been named Sarah. Mortal 2, enter your name. Mortal 2 has been named Audrey. Mortal 3, enter your name. Mortal 3 has been named Jasmine. Mortal 4, enter your name. Mortal 4 has been named Suan. Finally! That took forever. Who knew girls were so choosy? Hey! Silence! Why? Because I said so. And because you people are too loud. Uh, that's a first. Besides, I have directions on how to complete the game. Finally, something useful. I know, right? I wasn't sure how much longer the Game Voice and Sarah were going to fight. Knowing her, it could have lasted days. Again, I'm right here. Mortals! Ugh, I see how you guys procrastinate. You're so easily distracted. Am I right? <laughs> what? Not funny? Anyways, let me show you to your first level. Factoring basic trinomials. Huh, funny you should say that. Because we're actually supposed to be working on a math project. Wait, you already knew this. Never mind. Factoring is when you break apart a term or phrase into its simplest form. This should sound familiar to most of you. Yep. 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 Nope. As I said, most of you. I sh just you wait, mysterious voice. 
This is your first problem, x squared plus 2 minus 12. Now solve by factoring basic trinomials. If you need help, press the help button. See you in the next level. If you even make it that far, mwahahaha. Great. Just great. I suck at math. Don't worry, Jazz. We're on this together. Go, go, Power Rangers! No. Um, guys, I hate to burst your bubbles, but we should start. Yeah, Suad's right. Anyone have any ideas how to solve this? Okay, help button it is. To first set up, we will be using a method that reverses the FOIL process. What is FOIL, you ask? Mwahahaha! <laughs> Ahem. It is when you multiply two binomials together using the FOIL sequence. F means to multiply the first terms on each binomial together. O means to multiply the outer terms. I means to multiply the inner terms. And L is to multiply the last terms. Now factoring is reverting the simplified expression into the binomials. Let's use x squared plus 17x plus 70 as an example. First, set up the problem for parentheses. The first term in each set of parentheses should be the variable x, since f will multiply both first terms together and create the term x squared. Next, look at the signs of your different and constant terms. If the constant is negative, the signs should be different. If the constant is positive, that means your binomials will have the same sign. Then, find all factors possible for the constant term. Now it's just a guess and check game. Plug in the factors into the parentheses and use FOIL to see if it matches the original problem. The answer to our problem is x plus 10 times x plus 7. Oh, I get it now. Can I solve it? Go ahead. Okay, but what do I write the answer with? Use this magic wand to write the answer to the problem. Good luck. Awesome. <laughs> Done. Explain your answer step by step. Well, first, we cannot find a common factor between the three terms, so we will continue on with the next step. Looking at the last term, the signs in the parentheses should be different. The factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. Now we plug in the factors and play a game of guess and check. It turns out that the factors 4 and 3 will give the answer x squared plus x minus 12 when using the FOIL method. The answer is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 3. And your answer is correct. You may advance to level 2. Yay! Here you must solve 16y to the 5th power plus 12y by factoring by the GCF. Help button to the rescue! This is fairly easy. Let's use a sample problem 8x squared plus 4x. The only thing here is to find the GCF, or greatest common factor between the terms given here. The greatest common factor is 4x. Now, divide 4x from both terms. The answer becomes 2x plus 1 times 4x. Awesome, I got this. Finish! Explain your answer step by step. The GCF between these two terms are 4y. After dividing them, the problem is factored to 4y to the 4th power plus 3 times 4y. And your answer is... Correct. Advance to the next level. Woo! One more level. But before we go to level 3, bonus level. What? <laughs> 7x squared plus 4x minus 20. Alright, my turn. Help button. Now this problem is slightly different from factoring the basic polynomials as you have done before. This time, because we have a coefficient in our first term, the first term in the first set of parentheses will have the coefficient and variable. Let's use 3x squared plus 9x plus 6 as an example. Here in our parentheses, 3x will be located in the first term and x will be in the second. Then the rest of the steps are the same. Being able to guess the constant will become harder as it is more vague to see without using the FOIL method. The answer to this problem is 3x plus 6 times x plus 1. Okay. You done? Mysterious voice, you hear? What? Done already? Here. The first term will be 7x in the first pair of parentheses, then x in the other. The factors of this 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, and 4 and 5. 
After guessing and checking, the two binomials will be 7x minus 10 times x plus 2. And your answer is correct. Advance to level 3. Looks like I'm up next. Solve this problem. 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 by factoring perfect square trinomials. Alright, help button. Come at me, bro. Perfect square factoring is basically the same as factoring normal trinomials, except there are a few extra steps. Let's use the problem 4x squared plus 28x plus 49. Now, when we set up our parentheses, we will write 2x in both, as the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Then we will repeat the same steps when factoring normal trinomials. You will get 2x plus 7 times 2x plus 7. But notice how both binomials are the same. We can combine them together using the exponent of 2. The final answer is 2x plus 7 squared. Psh, that's simple, bruh. This magic wand is so cool. I wonder if I could write my name. <gasps> hey, hey, hey. Don't touch my magic wand like that. Oh, sorry. Anyways, do you have the answer? Yep. Okay, so. After setting up the parentheses, each binomial will have 2x as the first term. The signs will be the same here. The factors of 9 are 1 and 9 and 3 and 3. Guess and check proves that 3 and 3 work with this problem. The answer is 2x plus 3 to the power of 2. And your answer is... Correct. Suan, Jasmine, Audrey, and Sarah, you have successfully solved every level of the game and now can return to your home world. Yay, we did it! Yay! Well, at least we're out now. Yay! Yeah. Teleporting to the real world in three, two, one. Good riddance. That was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. At least we understand our math project now. Yeah. Where did you even find the video game, Sarah? I thought I'd lost that. Yeah, where did you find it? I was just looking around. I actually don't remember where it was. Dude, you should have been there last time you yourself into the game. You guys were stuck inside of a game before. Yeah. We should totally catch them up. Here, let me tell you. 